Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Hello, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to share with you um, something that I call winning mentality. Um, the mentality you have towards you approach things in life, towards the way you would approach things in life is very, very important. Um, some people sometimes think that things are impossible or too hard to do. Um, and that's, if you have that mentality, you're going to have trouble and you're going to struggle in life. Um, I want to talk a little bit about myself. Um, when I was in high school, well, 8th, 9th, 10th, 8th, 9th grade, I wasn't the best student. I wasn't, I would, I would go play basketball, be focused on other things that wasn't class. And, um, I would get B's, I guess, B's and C's, um, but I, and sometimes A's, but I wasn't focusing in school. I was more focused in basketball, having fun with my friends. When I was getting to the eight, 10th grade, you're approaching university, you know, you're in that mindset. I was like, hey, I want to improve my score. I want to improve my, 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 my performance. I want to get A's. Um, I told one of the math teachers I had, hey, I want to get better in math. I want to be in the advanced class. She looked at me. She's like, nah, Fernando, you're going to lower your, your, your grade. Stay, stay in the basic class. Don't, don't go to the advanced class. And I, I really, I really took it as a disrespect. I thought she she was saying I couldn't do it. She was uh, thinking I was less. Um, and then I grabbed a book. I grabbed, a, I literally grabbed a, bu a book called Algebra for College Students from my aunt that was a math teacher. And uh, the book had examples, right? I would look at the examples and I would do, after I looked at the examples, I would do one, three, five, seven, because I noticed that these, the odd numbers, had the answers in the book. So I did all the odd numbers, and I would see, like, if the answer was 14, and I got to eight, I would see what, what could I have done wrong, what happened, what can I fix, what can I change, until I deciphered how to get to the correct answer. And I kept doing that over and over over and over again and i created a habit and love for math and i improved uh there's something about practicing putting time into it and you get better that's how life works if you practice something a lot you will improve eventually sometimes it takes a little bit longer sometimes it'll be faster shorter it all depends um but when i got to university i i took per calculus and a lot of things that I saw in that book were already in Percalculus. I got A's in Percalculus. I became a tutor. Then uh, I also uh, took Calculus. I did good. And then since science is related to math, I did really, really good in physics and chemic, chemistry. Um, so it, it opened many doors in my life. I remember I told my mother, hey, I want to go back to that teacher and, and rub it in her face that I was able to do it. And uh, she's like, no, no, go give her the thanks. Cause if she wouldn't have, have said that to you, you would have never, never tried to, to, to improve. And um, sometimes people put you down in life and it, it depends how you approach it. Some people take it negatively. I, I look at it as a challenge and a way to improve myself. Um, also, uh, one time I uh, wanted to create an app I'm giving examples of my life. I wanted to create an app uh, for my business. I didn't know how to create an app. I started researching in the internet. In two to three weeks, I already had an app and launched it. And uh, I had it for two years running. But uh, it was difficult to maintain, uh, constantly having to update it. Uh, Apple changed something, I had to go. And it was, it was difficult to maintain. So I, I decided to stop it. But uh, now I have assistants who help me, so I, I might bring it back in the future. Um, I'll think about it. But the thing is, uh, I didn't know how to do it, and I learned how to do it. It's not, hey, I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'll forget about it. No, no. How do you do it? So I don't know how to do it. I got to figure out how I can get that that I need. 
Um, same thing happened to the website. I didn't know how to make a website. So I started researching, how can I make a website for my classes, for my students? And uh, I was able to do it. I don't remember how long it took me, but I was able to create a website. Obviously, it wasn't the best website in the world. It wasn't the prettiest. Uh, it worked for like two or three years. So we used it for about two or three years. Then after, after that, I paid a web developer company to make it better, make it prettier, make other options that mines didn't have because they're experts in that area. But the thing is, I didn't know how to do it. I researched, I learned how to do it. That teacher, that teacher saying I couldn't do things made me learn that I can do anything I put my mind to. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm special. What I'm saying is that you can do that too. It's all about you having the correct mentality. I don't know how to do it, so I have to figure out how am I gonna accomplish that? How am I gonna learn how to do that? Talking a little bit about the ASVAB, because most of you who are watching this either are gonna take the ASVAB or have taken the ASVAB or are studying for the ASVAB. Most of you uh, fall in that category. So I had a student, I had a student. I wanna tell you about the student. His name is Jesus Declet. This was in 2015. It was a long time ago, a long time ago. We're in 2021, the day I'm making this video. So it was a long time ago. Why do I remember? Cause I care, cause I care about my students. I really care about him. Um, he's, he's, he's a special person. He's a special person. Uh, you'll find out why I say he's special once I tell you what happened. So he went to the ASVAB. He studied with me about uh, two months, approximately. He went to the ASVAB. He was putting a lot of work. Some people put in a lot of work. Some people put less, but he was studying a lot. And uh, he called me. He was in the ASVAP. I was giving class. He called me. So I tell the students, hey, give me a second. There's a student who was in the ASVAP. He's calling me. I want to know if he passed. So let's give me two minutes. Let's see what happened. So I pick up the phone. The students are waiting. Everybody's There's about eight to ten students in the classroom. And I'm talking to the person in the test, Declet. And he's like, hey, man, I didn't pass. Oh, okay, bro. It's okay. Just send me the picture. Let me know how it went. It's okay. Take two or three days rest. He's like, no, 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 no. Are you in class? I'm like, yeah, I'm in class. I'm, I'm in class. Oh, okay. You're in class? He's like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the classroom. I'm going to go study. And I'm like, I'm, like I'm, 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 I'm surprised. I'm shocked. I don't know what to say. And I'm like, are you sure you don't want to take it easy? You don't want to go to your house, chill for a bit, two or three days, and then we start studying again? No, no, no. I'm going to study today. And that, that showed me he was going to pass the test. That, 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 that was an indicator that he was going to pass the test. Why? Because he didn't accept failure. He didn't accept, I can't pass it. The easy route, the easy route is giving up. It's easy to give up. It's hard to continue. It's hard to not quit. And that's who you have to be. So he went to the classroom. He studied that day. After the class, he went to McDonald's with a few students and they studied some more. And that day I knew he's gonna pass the test. He's right now currently, well, I don't know if he's still in the army. He joined the army. He Last time I spoke to him, he was still in the army. Um, he went from 18 AFQT when he failed. He failed after studying with me, two months studying with me, 18 FQT. Then he kept studying with me and he got to a 48 FQT. It's not about passing it the first time. It's not about getting the highest score the first time. It's about getting to your goal, not quitting, not quitting until you achieve it. And he is a great example. And uh, students like him, I know a lot, students who have increased a lot and don't quit, don't accept failure. Now, where also does this apply? So let's say you're studying for the test or for, for, for a test and you get this and you don't know how to do it. You make the common error. The common error is uh, 12. That's the common error that's wrong. People think, oh, you multiply three and four. No. Then after you get it wrong, there's the bad mentality. The bad mentality will be, hey, that's very difficult. I can't, I don't understand it. I'm never going to pass the test. Oh man, I suck. That would be the bad mentality. You can't have that mentality. You have to have, okay, I didn't understand it. Let me see how it's done. Then I start explaining it or whatever tutor you have. And you're like, 
three exponent four. The exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself. So it's going to be four times by itself. Three times three times three times three. Three times three, nine. Three times three, nine. Nine times nine, 81. And then the correct mentality is like, oh, wait, I think I understand what went there. Another day when I get it, I think I won't be fooled. I think I'm going to get it right. And let's say two days later, two days later, you're studying and you see this in a book. And you're like, wait, I may, used to make this error. That is not correct. The teacher told me that wasn't correct. The correct thing would be multiply by itself three times. The exponent tells you three times. Two times two times two. Two times two, four. 4 times 2, 8. And you learn from your errors. Getting something wrong is not bad. Bad is getting it wrong and not learning from your errors. Not learning from your errors. I'll give you another example. Logarithm. Logarithm. So, let's suppose they give you this so common error, common error, a common error. You're practicing, you're practicing, and you do this. This is the common error. People fall for this all the time. They're like, 5 plus 7, 5 plus 7, 12. No! That's the common error. There is a rule for logarithm. There is a rule for logarithm. The rule is, if you see a plus, you multiply. If you see a minus, you divide. So here, here. So you got it wrong. You got it wrong, and then... The tutor or teacher or me, if you're one of my students, would explain, hey, or when you see the example or whatever, you search it in YouTube, then you see how it's done and you're like, wait, the rule says if I, I, the person would explain the rule because you see a plus because you see a plus, you would multiply. The log stays the same. You would multiply. That's the rule. So another day when you see it, you will have an idea of how to approach it. You learn from your errors. So don't get frustrated if you get things wrong. Use it as a learning point. Use it as a step stone. Um, some stuff you didn't know how to do one day, you keep practicing until you get it. Eventually, you will get better. I've met so many people who have done it, so many students, so many success stories. I want you to be one of them. I don't want you to quit. So have that winning mentality. Keep studying. Keep improving. Don't quit. Um, it's not about intelligence. It's about persistence. And uh, you are guaranteed never to pass the test if you quit. If you quit, you're never going to get to your goal. That's why you can't quit. Persevere. Don't quit. Keep at it. Whether you study by yourself, you study with another tutor, or you study with me. If you're interested in my help and my classes, you could email us. It's going to be in the description, or you could text us. We'll send you the information. We'll send you a free trial, and you can see uh, if it's for you. But if not, keep at it. Best of luck. Thank you for your time. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, suggestions for future videos are welcome. Thank you very much. Let's pass.